All right. Here we go. All right. Frustration notebook. Another one? Another one. Okay. We'll think of something clever to say here next time. Next time. Next, next time. time. Always next time. Always mm -hmm. next time. No, definitely next time. Yeah. Um, so I guess starting off, once again, we'll stick with the uh, the theme, the frustrations. Uh, yeah. Frustrations that yeah. we had uh, when we were in police work. Um, whether, you know, patrol or whatever. That's where most of my stuff was done at. Um, and one of the things that, well, I guess I just asked this. So we'll start off. How do you feel about uh, when they were giving out awards? And what I mean, uh, it might be. Definitely weren't to me. Yeah, well. Uh, I'm talking about like. Uh, you would see the, what is it, the employee of the month or employee of the year. And they got the parking space or whatever. So when you would see that and you would see somebody, somebody like that you've never saw in the department or where you worked at, whether, whether it be police work or, or wherever else, uh, that you felt may not have deserved it, mm -hmm. I guess would be the way. Like, do you, th you think it's more that they actually deserved it and you didn't see what they did deserve it? Yeah. Or do you think it's more they chose this person for some other reason or they picked a random person or maybe this person was more popular maybe? <laughs> so, ideally, right. you want it to be because this is the right person for the job. This person earned it. Right. This person did what they were supposed to do and more. Right. You want to believe that. But I don't know if it's cynical or if it's just being realistic. Or being I kind of I feel like it's more realistic. Right. Um that it was more often than not this is a favorite to somebody's you know somebody favorite here. person. That they work with or work right, for higher up that recommended them because higher it's... up recommended them yeah okay or and this could be another thing more of like more of like a public eye thing right. like oh this person saved a puppy and it was all over youtube it was a viral video of officer banjo saving a puppy i don't know I did save a puppy once. I but. doubt it very you probably you've murdered many, but No, I well, I've I did save They were a puppy. full grown. Yeah, they were full grown. Were um puppies. But you know, it, it it could be like, oh man, we gotta we got this award coming up, we first, gotta give it to Banjo. Let me go back. First of all, dogs attacking people don't classify as puppies. There's a reason. We'll just skip along. Let's skip let's skip I, along on You on. wanna That's justify not, it however you got to. Yeah. But <laughs> But ravenous dogs don't classify as as sweet little puppies. You're you're you're, you're kind of media me there a bit, you know. Oh, this man, this man's out murdering puppies. No, you need to tell us why you hate dogs so much. I don't hate dogs. I used to, to have say. a pet dog, and that thing he was used 19, 19 years old. That dog was before he passed away. Can't get much older than that. Passed let's, away. Moving on. That's from, a gentle way of saying yes. put a bullet in its head. I didn't. No, I took it to the vet. They did it. <laughs> Did you watch? No, I didn't watch. Well, I did because I held it. Well, it that dog oh, made no, me cry. Yeah. That dog made me cry. I, yeah. I actually broke down when I had to put my dog down. I had that dog half my life. Yeah. Half my life I had that dog. and That was the saddest day. Yeah. Yeah. Taking it to yeah. him and holding it while, he, while they injected him. He couldn't walk. Uh, he's going deaf, going blind. So, you know, I think it was time. It was, that was, Are that you was my mom? Call. My mom likes to drop really sad stuff well you are the one who threw it out there i was i was, I was going off of i'm going after your more recent <laughs> that was a ravenous dog a ravenous dog i yes i shot a ravenous dog <laughs> you saw it through rose colored the opposite of rose tinted teeth glasses. i saw teeth <laughs> i saw teeth and barks and growls coming at me that's if you want to call those rose colored glasses <laughs> Yeah, was oh, yeah. it the right option? No, but split second decision. Ah, yeah, yes. I'm fine with that. Um, you can't. And what are you gonna do? Just get eaten? Yeah. So going back to to awards, this is where we were supposed to be. That at. is where we yeah. were, and I would say that like you know, Banjo saved the dog from the tree, and like is a is a YouTube video. You had yeah. six hundred thousand views on it, yeah. and they know that Banjo works for you know 
Um, Kill Devil Hills. That's yeah, a, that's the, a, the Kill cool. Devil Hills Police Department. <laughs> that's a cool, that's a we cool have police a, department name. Just saying. You would not misbehave in their town. Kill Devil. <laughs> exactly. Kill Devil. Yeah, that's a really cool. That's a really cool name. Not a red and black, but it's not a, not a black and white, but a red and black. Yeah. A red and blue. Yeah. Devil's colors. But uh, but like you're always gonna. That, that could be another reason. You know, we he's out there. He's in the public image. We got to give him an award. Yeah. You know, Banjo, he just saved this dog and he got an award. But like, what about all the other oh, yeah, all the other is... people that are like, he saved a dog, but I saved three dogs. I saved yeah. a person. It wasn't it wasn't seen. Well, it, it wasn't seen. It wasn't um, elaborated, I guess. So. Or uh, disseminated as much. Yeah. Not as many people knew about it. And then you got, um, with that, I mean, what? I mean, what's the morale? So the morale for the person getting the award is obviously, oh, I got, I got this award. Oh, must be doing something right. And then, then I still feel that, like, even if you're, so best case, you're a rational person, you realize, I'm getting an award, but, like... So-and-so was better than me? Or, I'd be rational. Like, oh, I don't feel I deserve it. Yeah. And so-and-so I think a normal this. person will be like, ah, you know, sure, I'll take the award, but, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, you know, Banjo worked really hard this week, too. Yeah. It's, it doesn't feel right for me to get an award, and Well, you've worked Banjo with a few didn't. people. How many people... Yeah. Are that way. That's true. Yeah, I was probably that way. I just didn't. I don't think I ever got any. I don't think I got any awards. Well, you wanted awards, or I think I, I think I got I got a couple of like. Um, I don't know how much like glory hounding you got in the job, but like the rest of your life. Oh, the rest of my life, I got a lot of glory. Yeah, I don't know if it went like, for your work. Yeah, I think my professional work. career. Professional. I, I got a few uh, letters of accommodation. I still I still saved them. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, mm-hmm. that was coming. And nobody ever texts me. <laughs> But um, but everybody else, I'd imagine the people who felt they deserved it and get, didn't get it is, I mean, that's probably as much as the morale booster. I'd imagine it's a bigger yeah morale. Buster. It's a net loss. Yeah, it's a net loss because you got one award versus five or 20, 10, 20 people that feel and nobody's gonna be like, I'm gonna try harder next time. Oh, I, I want to get that award. Yeah, and it's that's like, the no, next thing. What, what like, do you do? It's like fuck that award. I don't yeah. want that. What do you do with it once you get it? What would you do with it? Would you hang it up on your wall at home? You put it on your resume? I actually got like employee of the year. I mean, employee of the month, I wouldn't imagine. But I mean, employee of the you year. You got an accommodation? Like, that means something. But yeah, like, I, I kept all mine for whenever I changed the department or whatever. Yeah. So I still have those. Yeah, but like, when do you somewhere. present them? Are they like appendices, appendages, appendix, appendixes on your resume? I don't know. Like, see Appendix ever, A for like I've ever recognition used or. I don't think I. Really, I don't even think I look back at like flashback. Like, oh, I remember this day. I remember this day when I got the pat on the back. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think that ever even happens. No. Um, now, with that being with 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 awards, I guess that kind of goes hand in hand with promotions. I mean, how many times have you seen uh, somebody who's always trying their hardest to get out of work? You know, making excuses like, oh, they got me. They got me cooking for the police department. Oh, so you get to cook while I'm over here, whatever, you know, standing out in the heat. You get to take a four-hour break in front of a grill. Yeah. You turn your radio off. Yeah. While I'm at the working in wanding, your district. Yeah, wanding. Or yeah, well, that's a good one. Working in your district. Working in your great. district. Answering your calls. Answering your calls. Yeah. Um, I remember those days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or they got me out here. Got to... I got we got this camp set up and I got to go out and do, teach these kids how to fish, which, you know, why is it always that particular person and why isn't that wealth spread around? That's a morale breaker, you know. Hey, you know what? It'd be nice for me to go fishing on the day that I'm working. Yep. Instead, uh, I nope. can't be at work tomorrow. I stayed yeah. up all night. Stayed up all night yeah. with the with the youth, helping them, yeah. teaching a man to fish. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. So uh, was that option for me? No, it wasn't for me. It was for you. Yeah. It's, it's, and, only it's you. like the it's like the lesser of two evils. Like, yeah. you know, it's still work, but it's not that work. It's something. They, even if it's the same amount of work, it's a different. It's work. different. It's different, and it feels your exciting. day is different. Yeah. And it's like, oh my god. Because we all know that. Yeah, I mean, you're driving around in circles for twelve hours when you're yeah. on patrol, uh, waiting, tied to a radio, having to always listen, having to always listen to silence. Yes, or noise. You get that. You get or that, a lot yeah. of noise. Because you get that one person one of who's sucks. constantly talking. Mm-hmm. You get the uh, the narrative they put across the radio. Yeah. Um, like who are you trying to convince that you did something? Yeah. Who, who are you? 
That's a good one. That like, can, usually around promotion time, once again, you get oh, a yeah. lot of radio chat. A lot of radio Somebody, time. Everyone's like, oh, I just want to be heard. So just be that. heard. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm, so I they wanna, know I'm working. Yeah, they know I'm here. But then, yeah, Man, you listen the to Banjo. That, he's working. Yeah. He's always talking on the radio. But then you get the, um, going back to the promotion, you get you get the guy or girl um, that skips out and does the, the fishing, you know, mm-hmm. having a different day. And then that's the one who gets, oh, you're promoting so-and-so. is all his hard work he did. With, with the camp or with, oh yeah with, with, with the, the camp remember yeah, he did yeah. that stuff with the camp yeah well i didn't have but he got opportunity. picked to do yeah <laughs> that nobody else could even volunteer to do yeah well, was no volunteering for because it. if you volunteered no for sheets. it that meant you can't work patrol yeah which would be the only reason you would volunteer to do it <laughs> yes usually that's like and it was different yeah sign me up i'll yeah. do it did you ever uh you ever you were riding the police horses? I did the camp one time. Yeah, I did the camp. Would you ride the police horse? Just curious. No. no I got on that thing. It was, uh, I hated it. I Animals. Think, well, hated me, I should say. Rub me right off on a barn. You like know it. how I feel about horses. I was six I years old. <laughs> what the hell is this going to do this? I don't think I remember this. I've told you this before. I don't recall. Well, this I was six s- years old at my best friend's house. He had... It wasn't a farm, but he had like... I wouldn't call it a farm. He just had a big field. Okay. He had a horse. Had a horse. Horse's name was Buster. I still remember the horse. Oh, Scarred so me for life. Busted your ass on Buster, but go ahead. I would have <laughs> if I'd have gotten close enough. <laughs> but I was in first grade. I was like six years old. That's... And I go up to this, uh, you know, this large horse. Right. It'd still be large today. But like as a kid. It's even larger. larger it's even life. larger. Yeah. It's like, holy crap. And I go up, and this huge, they're like, oh, it's fine. Look, Buster's cool. And he sneezes. Wow. Which is a violent act for anybody to do, but even worse when it's, <laughs> you know, go ahead. I'm, I, I Titan of the gods up there, like this magnificent beast. Did you get hay? I got nothing. Nothing. He didn't sneeze on me. He sneezed oh. near me, like from me to you. And he, you know, as violent as a sneeze scared, is. Scared and you. I'm like, I'm out. Nope. So I've, been, I've, been sneezed, I've been sneezed on by a horse. Never doing that again. Hay. I had hay all over my face because it sneezed right in my face. I had little bits of hay and grain where he was eating. Decided to. I hated that horse too. Hay. That horse. Did that horse. <laughs> that horse's hay was. Uh, it was CL for short, chicken lips for long. The chickens are known for their sneezing? <laughs> I don't know why they called it chicken. I think it was a race horse at one time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, they always have those stupid weird, names. Yeah. Um, but I hated that horse. Yeah, horses. No, I'm not doing horses. I don't mind horses, but animals. I don't know. I don't mess with animals. Just typically, like a snake out in the yard. No, right. I'm, I will go arm myself with something to give me the advantage. We well, definitely want an advantage. Mm-hmm. Like a a shovel or something. But I'm not gonna go grab a snake or a lizard. I'm gonna mess with that. So no plaques. You don't have any plaques of where you've been awarded. What? What about mm-hmm. your? I know you got my current job. Well, no, like, like I know you got a degree. Have you hung your degree up, or is that just? I else? have. I have hung my degree up. Uh, one okay. year, that's my a wife. lot of accomplishment. Or, okay, yeah, yeah, of accomplishment. yeah. That um, one year for Christmas, my wife did a. Uh, she got a nice frame mm-hmm. and had them frame it, frame my degree, and put it. Years, I had nowhere to put it. Where am I gonna put it? In the patrol car. Yeah. Put it in my in my house. Like, I know I graduated from there. <laughs> You want other people to know. I want other people to know. That's why you get it. Yeah. I guess that's why you get awards too. It that's is what you actually you care about. You, care you want to put it up in display. Um, but yeah, like it's like a cool decorative piece at most is what I look at it as. Like you go in my office now and boom, right there behind me, you know. Right. Degree. I put something I need to do my up. other one. I put something up in my office. It was it was uh, uh, one certificates. Of like a instructor certificate, I, I hung. That I would up. do that. Yeah, yeah I hung for that sure. Up. Yeah, because I've, I've I had a few, um, but right off the bat, I hung that up. I like it. Ain't no, no, nobody cares about that shit. That's what I heard from across. <laughs> like, take that shit down. Ain't nobody give about that shit. <laughs> so, so I don't know if that was jealousy or just somebody trying to make me mad or seeing what my trying reaction to make themselves was feel better at the most malicious level, yeah. I guess. So. Get the shit off your wall. Ain't nobody give a shit about that. <laughs> so anymore, like if I was to hang anything up, it's usually it's probably more dust collectors or trinkets or things that remind me of funnier things. Like I've got um, 
I think you bought you bought it for me. The uh, the the pops is that what it is? I think it was a pop of um, Eddie Murphy in uh, Beverly Hills Cop. What's his name? Axel Foley. Axel, yeah, yeah, Axel, yes, yeah. Axel, Axel Foley. Foley. Um, which I loved, and and that and that kind of related way back. Because we because we and I wasn't like you're not like the biggest like. Not to my knowledge, like you don't talk about Axel Foley all the time. No, no. But we just happened to talk about it one day, and then I saw yeah. it. I was like, "Yeah, yep." Well, it I'm was the incident that. that I had with. Um, what was that from? I had an I had an FTO who sounded like a. Or I was I was FTOing or you, know, I know you were is. training That's field training officer. I was I was FTOing at the time, and I had I had a young guy, um, and he was, he's like a robot, and you know I mean just. He would get on, you know, uh, central dispatch. <laughs> this is to Adam. Just where talk. We, yeah, and I, that's why I said just talk. Just talk. And, I, and I, did the, I did the thing. I said it needs to come out more natural. Mm-hmm. And that's the line from the movie. I said it should be more natural. It should come out like, hey, man, we're going to fall off with in the tailpipe. <laughs> I said, you know, you, I don't know where you've been hanging around. <laughs> you know? And, of course, he was so young, he never seen the movie either. I said, go, go, watch, go watch Beverly Hills Cop. Get, <laughs> yeah. back, get back to me. Yeah. Um, it's your training for the day. Yes. Go, going, uh, I know we talked about movies in the past and talked about sequels that surpassed. And I want to throw this one out and it's going to, we'll just, we'll snip over it or unless you want to talk about it. Uh, another sequel, Weekend at Bernie's 2. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one was better than the original. <laughs> I think you're right. Yes. I'm not very well versed in it, but I remember watching the second one more than the first one. Yeah, sure. I don't know if it just came on more. <laughs> Did y'all have tapes like that growing up? Like you had a, obviously a, you had a, v- a v- VHS, a, v- a VCR. Right. It was a VHS tape, right? It would be a VHS tape. Yeah. But I was saying like the thing yeah, that plays them, but like you have a VCR, and then it's like oh, you'd look on the you'd look on the guide, oh, like yeah. you're the guide on Directv or whatever, like. Movie's coming on, like oh yeah. Make sure you get your tape in and record it, even with commercials. Even because because the better quality movies would be on like commercial television. Yes, and then you'd have to you have to stop recording during the commercial, and then start recording again. Now I liked back. it because obviously it always seemed like when I was going out of town is when a movie on I wanted to see, so I could easily record it and then come back. So good. That's a that's you, could, that's you know what's waiting on you. Like I know what I got yeah. waiting on me. I got time bandits waiting on me. At yeah, I, I saved this. I recorded it. Yeah, I wish I still had, always a bunch had of it. Those. That was so. Yeah, it's a bygone era. That was it good. Is. That and was I don't great. know if um. Well, now it's just you stream. You just get it instantly. Yeah, you can watch there's, anything. There's no there's no real work. No, there's no real gratification. No, nope. it, it's imagine to imagine going back in not back in time, but let's go. Back if we time. were to. De-evolutionize? Is that would be the word? Where we would, we would devolve. start devolve? Yeah, devolve and, and stop losing, like go backwards in technology we have now. You think people can survive trying? Well, first of all, VCR was you never get the time; it was always flashing twelve. But but to to be able to even work a VCR, or you know, I think that I don't think we'll ever devolve. But no, but like if if like an EMP went off today yes. and it knocked out. <laughs> Somehow it knocked out everything from DVD on. Yes, and we were reduced to Super <laughs> Nintendos and VCRs. Right. Could people survive? Tube TVs. Tube TVs. Remember back when the, a TV was a hunk of furniture? Like it yeah, was. Yeah, you like put was, stuff on it. It took like two people to move it in. Yeah, yeah. it was so put heavy. Put stuff on it. Yeah. We had one that it was like this wide. Yeah. Be that far away from the wall. <laughs> Did you say what? Did, what did you that said? <laughs> was it the buttons on the remote? <laughs> Not the remote. <laughs> The uh, the TV itself. Oh, the button it concaved in, right? Brand new TV. <laughs> this is and it was a name brand. It was RCA, RCA. Right. Brand new RCA speakers, like or stereo, like yeah. stereo sound. Yeah. Old one just had mono sound. <laughs> that speaker. Yeah. Nobody knows what that is, but that yeah. means only one side had sound. Right. Speaker sound. So like, if the person on the TV was on this side. And they were talking. The sound would just come out on this side. Nice TV. First three minutes of having it in our house. Did you push it too hard? Power button was like a. It was like a nub that was sticking out. Right. And it was like a hard plastic. You would push it. And you'd feel it. Chink. You know. Chink. 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 You know. Yeah. Pushed right in. 
gone. Did you, did you try to repair it at all? Like, was it? There was try- nothing repaired because it was on a panel, right? Right. And the little button came out. So when you push it in too much, that button went in, and well, it was gone. So the, it, it just was just a hole. Well, it had to be a wire or something. No, oh, I don't know. So you could get a. The way we got around it, you get a pencil and you shove it in the <laughs> hole. Yeah, far no remote. Up where it would reach. No remote at this time. Well, kids never get the remote. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you'd use the remote. Okay. But but then okay, trailing off of that, batteries were. Oh yeah. Like light bulbs in our house, like. Right. Just you're only, exist. you're only, you know, I can't think of the word. You're only given a certain amount to survive. Right. All the time, forever. And that number is like three batteries. Right. So if you use Never them on a remote, them. That's it's, it. it's out. Yeah, you I, better find something else that has a remote, <laughs> has batteries. Right. So you scalp, I hope it's the same. You sc- yeah, you scalp them. <laughs> you scalp the batteries from other things. It's like fallout. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like, well, I need the... It's like the light bulbs. I need light in the bathroom more than I need it in the hall. Yeah. So, <laughs> hall one's coming down. Yeah, it's probably turn it off a while because that's the old incandescent bulbs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, we'd be in dark. Yeah, you have to turn it off and be like, I got to wait a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the batteries, the batteries would go out in the remote when they would, you know, they last for a long time. Oh, yeah. But when they'd go you out. You did the old trick where you like roll them. And put them mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you get rub some life into them. <laughs> back in i don't know if that's a thing i don't, I don't think it is but it the kid, seems, it seems like work. it worked yeah but we'll put him in the fridge thinking that was i don't know i think it drains better we used to put ours in i think the it fridge. drains them yeah it kills kid, we, them we, i think we thought it gave it more life i don't know we throw them in the butter dish and then we try them again <laughs> nope no it's still not any good throw them yep, away it's not working but yeah but the, the but that that's when we have to figure out how to turn the tv on without the remote my granddad to get the pins to get well, i remember there. when we were little my granddad had um and I've never seen one like it again, obviously, because, you know, technology. But I remember his remote. He had a Zenith. Uh, and I think it was already an old. It was, it was, it was nice because it was big. But it was like the biggest TV I've seen as a kid. And it, it was like a heavy piece of furniture. But he had this really thick remote with, I mean, when you push the, like the, the change button, click, 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 click. Right. You would it hear was, it. That's why they call it a clicker. Yeah. But you would hear I mean, it. Was, and it was probably, probably that, that thick, like just hanging on to it. Mm-hmm. And I remember when that TV died, we just put another TV on top of that, a smaller TV on top of the TV. That became the furniture for a while because it was so big to get rid of. Like you couldn't just put it in the trash. Did you put like a blanket over it? <laughs> so you didn't even like know a, it was a TV? Yeah, it was like a TV on top of the TV. Like you didn't put like a sheet over the old one? <laughs> no. So it just looked like it was a, it was a dresser? <laughs> no. no. I, was, I was probably I was probably like 10 or 11. I think we did that before. Yeah. We put a... And and I was then, like, oh, uh, this is a good, this my a nice little table. Yeah, my grandparents had cable when I was like, and it was amazing. I thought that was great because you get like you know HBO with no mm-hmm. commercials. And you could sit and watch the whole the whole thing, mm-hmm. and they would get it sporadically. So it only like they have it for six months, and then they wouldn't. So it was like, oh, it was like a delicacy. Like yeah, you, like oh, it's great. Yeah, oh yeah. So you love oh, yeah. going down there, and then uh, and then my, of course my grandparents can never pronounce anything correctly. You know, like things that we like, like now I probably can't pronounce some of the stuff that that's out now. I probably it's showing my age. I think it's an age thing, but we had a Nintendo, and my granddad would get mad when we hook up the TV because he'd swear the Jinjinzo would break the TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he'd be like, uh, you know, what's causing this? Because uh, it was the old channel. You had to, you know, click it. What's causing it is that Jinjinzo y'all hooked up. <laughs> I even hooked up. Yeah. It's on near it. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what caused it to go bad. That's what would cause it to go bad. That's what caused his original TV, I, I believe, to go bad, at least in his mind. Mm-hmm. Wasn't because it was 10 years old. I feel like but. things lasted longer, too, though. Yes. Okay. They had that, like, we had that TV, that, the, the mono sound TV. Yeah. I had that for probably 2007. Did it die eventually? Or that thing was like 30 one? years old. It yeah. died. Oh, okay. Probably a tube or something. Yeah. Mm hmm. I think it was like 30 years old. Yeah, that's where the radio was too, though. The radio was a piece of furniture. I don't know if your parents had the big the big radio that would go in the house. Best we had was a like a big, nice CD player with like the speakers that were like this big. Yes. You know, have two of those. And then like sometimes we'd have it hooked into the TV. <laughs> but then it'd be like, I would short or something. And be like, ah, screw this thing. And we'd stop. But I always love the story um, changing from from the TV stuff to the like the, <laughs> you tell me getting the the one can like like the one can of Pringles in the house or whatever the one thing of chips and, and your dad would always wait 
Uh, <laughs> it would sit there. He would try not to eat it. So it'd be one, one. Again, we're back on food, but yes. it's more of a, it's more of a behavior thing around the food. Right. But it was just like one item of like, like ooh, like some ooh item. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Ice you, cream cookies. You open up the cabinet, you're like ooh. Yeah. That's catches your eye. some it's Pringles. Try to front. Yeah. Ooh, there's or, there's we got snacky cakes. Right. You call them snacky cakes. Yeah. Or like fudge. Ooh, you know whatever that ooh item would be, even ice cream, like you said. Um, we get one. But see, it'd be me, my brother, and my mom, and my dad too. Right. He, we'd buy it, and most of the time it was ice cream. Yeah. If we did this with ice cream, but it happened with everything. So we get a, like a gallon of ice cream. It's not very big. Right. Or about half a gallon, I guess. A little pint, the little, not the big tub, but the other one. Big tub was always great. Go big ahead. tub was fantastic. <laughs> so much ice cream. <laughs> but we'd have that, and then there wouldn't be anything else to eat in the house. It's like, I guess we could try to get some ramen noodles. Right. That's another thing. Did you ever do like make home? Well, you don't like macaroni. Yeah, I, don't. I made homemade macaroni with ramen noodles yeah. one time. Sliced cheese. Oh, that just sounds butter. It was it good? <laughs> it was not very good. All right, but you get desperate. Yeah. What else are you gonna do with shrimp ramen? Did, You're not gonna yeah. eat the shrimp no. ramen noodles. <laughs> Use it for something else. We always made horrible pizza, but go ahead. So, like, we didn't have anything else to eat. So, of course, it was like, we got this ice cream. So, we'd eat on it, eat on it. Days, days go by. And it would be like a week and a half. And finally, my dad would be like, all right, let's go get some of this uh, ice cream. And, of course, it would be gone. As soon as he'd see it, he'd go, God damn it! If he would lose it. It's like... Man, it's been a week and a half, and that's the only food we have in the house. And it's like a a, a luxury item. Yeah. I don't know. A treat, yeah. It's a treat. Yeah. That ain't gonna last. We had um. Yeah, t- try not to go to go to food. <laughs> but I remember. <laughs> Stay away. Um, it, 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 this is going to lead into something else. But yeah, I remember talking about the the mac and cheese or the, whatever the yeah, the ramen mac and cheese you made. I remember. I remember doing homemade homemade pizza and they were they were horrible uh as a kid though but you know i'd always say bad pizza was better than no pizza but we would always slice bread and then it was uh yeah sliced bread and then we didn't have pizza sauce but we always had a ragu that's not pizza sauce well, that's spaghetti sauce it's a little oh. bit different a little bit it's a little bit different and then i'm, I'm gonna jump different from that one shortly but um so we put ragu on there and then it was always like a slice of American cheese, yes. and then you would toast it. Oh, so good! It's not good. It's so it's good. not good You're at crazy. all. Crazy! It's so good. And then um, you, you don't take put the it out. whole slice on there. But we put the whole slice. We just put a slice. I, on. We would do. We had no meat or anything. We do on. like half a half a slice. So you'd rip it. You wouldn't shred it, but you just kind of rip little, it in big chunks right. and just put it on there, just kind of sparingly. Yeah. Oh, so so good. I, love, I could eat that right now. So trying to trying to move out of food talk a bit. Uh, please, please. Yes. So, is there anything that you've ever, you've ever gotten as an adult that you don't understand why you didn't get as a kid? Like, for example, we always, and a little bit on the food side here, but we would always would get ragu as a kid. That's, I mean, that's what my parents always bought, and so I, I assumed that's that's some really good spaghetti sauce. Mm-hmm. But as I got older, I'm like, why the hell didn't we have prego? Because that's so much better tasting. <laughs> it's thicker. It's not like I'm pouring water out of, of a jar. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like why did we have why why do we have this? Why didn't we get that when that was right beside it? Yes, and and I imagine because of the pennies more, you know. But yeah, but is, I mean, you never discover it. Like you get older, like like why do we do it that way? Like why like like for example, you talk about the light bulbs. Like why do we buy a one pack or a four pack of Dollar General bulbs okay. when we could easily go get an eight pack for the same price yes. with better bulbs? It's cheaper. Yeah. It's cheaper. It lasts longer. Or cheaper in the long run. Yeah. Cheaper in the long run. Because so you, much you're going to go back in a week and buy another You got to use gas to go back to the, yeah. to the store in about three days to get another bulb because <laughs> right. the one you bought is already busted. Um, well, yeah. I, I would say I would say the, the, the $2 gas trip, right. you know, uh, my mom was notorious for going to the gas station. Even back then, gas what? $2 a gallon, maybe? 
Probably two two ten or so, or even even like one ninety even. I think because right. it'd be like it was barely a gallon of gas. Right. Go to the gas station, you get two dollars worth of gas. So you just get the gallon in there. You have to come back tomorrow, and we did, because I always had to run the run the cash up. Oh, that's back, two dollars worth of gas. So I they wouldn't back. turn the pumps on until you till you did it. See, as a kid, they would turn the pumps on, but of course, back then. Oh me, no! Wait, no, you're right. No, they they, they was opposite. You're right. Yeah. They they would only certain certain stores would would make you pay first. Yeah. But typically, it was just on. Yeah. But when I was younger, that's what my my parents would would pump, and then I have to run in. Mm-hmm. And then yep. it was always you know as a gas station as a kid, there's always the candy right off. Now here's 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 a good one. Um, and I'm I'm Food again. I'm hit, well I'm hint, hinting on it, but it's not it's not quite. So weirdly enough, as a kid, I remember going to the grocery store, and of course, when you check out, all the candy's there. I mean, it, it's it's a it's an eye catcher for, I'd imagine kids. As an adult, I don't really look there so much anymore. But I remember going with my mom, and right off the bat, you know, don't ask for anything. Is what my mom would say. Of course, we would always ask, and of course, you would get yelled at or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's what I say, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, but I remember becoming like a teenager. Or even even you know in, in my early twenties or eighteen or whatever, um, going to the store with my mom again and we checking out. You, you know, do you want anything? Where were you when I was eight? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, where were you exactly. when I was eight? And I what seen changed? all this candy. Nothing's yeah. changed. Yeah, it, it, and oddly enough, isn't of course. Adult, yes, I do. I do yeah. still want a candy bar. Uh, I never did. As I got older, I mean, I, I was switched from sweets to savory. I mean, buy me a steak or something. But I was a fan of the take five and they kind of get. Back. <laughs> Oh yeah, but yeah, I, I I guess we still never got anything. <laughs> we never yeah. switched over to hey, do you want something? Oh, that, that's every time, you know. We 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 would just do now. Like for my kids, that's different. For my kids, they take them. My parents would take them and it'd be like, oh, go do whatever get whatever you want, whatever you want. It's like, now, how about you when you go through? Like I was limited to a dollar toy. Yeah. So how about you when you go through with the kids? Your kids? Is it don't ask for anything? No, I get them something. I they like toy. those little. <laughs> they don't really get the toys. We don't right. really go into stores that have a lot of toys, but we typically don't get toys. We do like a sucker. Right. You go to the gas. They go to the uh, grocery store. They go with me. They've been good. You know, it costs me eighty cents for them to be good. I'll I take have, that. Yeah, I have positive reinforcement. Yeah. I've, I must have some of the. I don't. I don't understand it. My kids will never ask for anything. Like I go to the store, like I'll ask my like I have to ask my daughter all the time. Hey, do you want something? And she'll look at you. No, I'm good. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, you sure? And I, and I'm the one trying to get her to buy something, probably because I want to eat part of it. Um, but I'm always like, uh, you don't well, eat all of it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm look around. Dad tax. Dad tax. Yeah. Look don't around. Don't you want this king size candy bar? <laughs> like, look around. Make sure you don't want anything. I'm good. And then I'll point some things out. What about the now? I'm all right. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know. Um, and my boy will ask for a bit more. My, my wife usually tells him no. Uh, if he goes with me, he just knows. He's like, "You always buy me whatever I want." So my boy, <laughs> and I'm like, and somehow still, I'm the I'm the bad guy, uh, or, or not the bad guy, but the least favorite parent. I'm the mm. one who buys him everything. I mean, my kids will tell me like, "You're not really our favorite parent," which is oh, that hurts a little bit. Like, well, that's why mom's the favorite parent. And I'm like, I don't know why mom's the favorite parent. I'm the one who does all the fun I stuff. I get you these candy bars. I get you everything you want. Your mom's the one always saying no to y'all. But <sighs> that sucks. Yeah. And they always ask me, who's your favorite kid? I'm like, I don't, I don't have a favorite kid. You know. <laughs> yeah. I can't sit there and tell you you're better. And, you know. So I, I got one of each. So it's nice. So I can always say you're my favorite son. Or you're my favorite daughter. That's yeah. always the best part. Yeah. yeah she but, always had, uh, my daughter will ask, like, who's your favorite, like, who do you love more? Yeah. And I would say, I love y'all the same. Yeah. I love y'all both as much as I can possibly love anything. That's how I approach it. Yeah. Like, I can't love you any more than I love you already. Yeah. And same for him. And I guess Good same approach. for my wife, who just came in right now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, those things, it, it's just odd things. Like, uh, talking about being in charge, uh, you know, one, one who's once in charge says no. Uh, it's it's a veto on wherever you're you're going to eat at or whatever you're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that I mean that was I mean parents wise. Um, they said we we stuck with the same food and pretty much had the same routine. Another thing, let's see if your parents did this, um, and see if you do it. I guess I don't know. Um, 
I remember being younger, like if my parents were get a new car, mm-hmm. that was an ordeal. I can go ahead and tell you, no, you never got a new car. <laughs> well, new to them. New to them. My parents oh, I got you. 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 I think my parents ever bought a brand new oh, car. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah. But as soon as we got the new car, it was like, well, it's time to go visit people. I don't know what the deal. Are we showing the, are we showing the car off? <laughs> you know? it, it, I think... No, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. We would always go visit. We also had like a golden station wagon. Like, so it wasn't nothing to be proud of. Who's going to show that off? I, well, my or, parents would show like a, a white Buick. Corsica. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, showing that off. Yeah. It wasn't like we're coming out in sports. You're not fitting all of us in a sports car. I mean, we're not going up there in a Corvette or anything. Did you have a good car? Like, oh, don't take that one to Walmart. You might not make it. We I have gotta, that now. We got to take the station <laughs> I have that now. Uh, as, as a kid, no, I think I think we just had one. Uh, once in a blue moon, we have two. Um, I don't know if my dad was rougher on vehicles or... We just had crappy vehicles at times. I don't know what I don't know what the deal was. I know my dad's vehicle would always break, mm-hmm. and he would drive my mom's car, and then my mom would always say, "So rough on vehicles," because <laughs> you know, that would break on hers. Could be, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if it keeps happening, then probably there's something going but on. But again, it wasn't like we had brand new cars either. I yeah, mean, yeah, exactly. You could have been driving a very gentle. A, yeah, we had like a Dodge Diplomat. If you have no idea what that is, no it's clue. a giant. It's a giant car. That's back before you had to wear seat belts. So you know, as a kid, didn't have any? <laughs> we had we had seat belts. But as a kid, you'd be like laying in the back window, be laying in the back window, waving in the traffic. very back. Yes, yeah, yeah, right in the back back dash. Y'all had, you know, had a station wagon or not? But station wagon, you go to the back. Oh yeah, the very back. The very the play area. Yeah. You're in the very back. It's oh, just that was flat. Great. Hey, you put your GI Joes, everything else down. Yeah, Eat, picnic yeah. area. Sit Indian style in the back. Yeah, mm-hmm. great. Yeah, it was a because ours was a seat. It could be a seat or you could. I lay it down, and it would just be flat. So out of all the dangerous stuff that you did in the car as a kid, was was turning on the dome light forbidden? Yes. I can't <laughs> see while they're driving. Cops go pull you over. Yeah, yeah. That's what we'd always get. Yeah, cops. Are, cops see you doing that. You go pull. Is there any over. laws that you know of? None. Have you ever? When you were police and never wanted to pull a car over with the dome light on? <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> and what would you going to say? I wanted to. <laughs> Saw your dome light on. <laughs> you know, if a cop sees that. <laughs> and that was just kind of burnt your brain from your parents, I imagine. I don't know why that was a big thing. I, I don't know if it ever was a law. I mean, it is hard from. to drive. Like, if you get, like, a if the dome light's on and you're driving, yeah. you can't see. It's nighttime. Yeah. You know, you can't see. But it always turn it off. They never approached it from that way. It was always like, oh, you're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, you get pulled over. You get yeah. pulled over for that. Cop sees that. In the, uh, did you ever? I don't know. We were always told uh, driving barefoot. You couldn't drive barefoot either. Yeah. I don't know any laws that state that either. Nope. There aren't. Yeah. We're driving sandals. Drive sandals. Drive barefoot. I mean, it might not be the wisest choice, but. Yeah, yeah. You I've could, driven barefoot, and it, it's horrible. I don't know why. You it's not very it's, fun at all. No. Yeah, it's you can feel you can feel the, it's the like brake you feel everything. And everything else, yeah. all the dirt that's in the carpet. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's pretty disgusting. You kind of have to push it harder too, because you yeah. don't have you don't have as much like just surface. You can just you know you just do the wedge, right? You just kind of yeah. You don't actually push forward or backwards on it. You but, put your foot beside it and just. Yeah. It's harder to do. With just the dome light. The dome light's a, the great one. That seems yeah. to be a, a big thing in memes now mm-hmm. too. I, I see I'm seeing that pop up. But I agree. I mean, I thought it was just like my family, but when you start seeing it around, like, okay, that's just an odd thing. That's this flooded America, I guess. Yeah. Um, But I mean, there was a lot of things that I guess parents tell their kids about to get them to not do it with like crazy results that would never happen. But as a kid, you don't know. Like the, uh, you play in the fire. Oh yeah, pee to bed. You go pee into bed. Yeah. So I don't want to do that. (laughs) You, you I'm not gonna play in that fire. I'm play in the fire. Like, forget like you're gonna get getting burnt. burned. That's like whatever. Yeah. It's a burn. It's like it, it's yeah. not gonna happen. Yeah. But like if I play in it, it's guaranteed that I'm gonna pee in the bed. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want that. Oh, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that's that. a guarantee yeah. versus a possibility. You might get burned, but you will pee in the bed. <laughs> now, I've, have you tried to introduce your kid? I don't know. Like, there's a few movies I try to introduce my kids to that they don't. I don't want to watch and I still think they're great to this day um, as a kid like me and my brothers um, we would stay up 
um, it'd be like movie night Thursday, you know, when stuff came on TV and, and you plan oh, for yeah. it. There's oh, planning. yeah. It'd be advertising, be commercials. Yeah. So yeah. When, when Rambo First Blood come on, I don't know, we were, I mean, I was a Rambo fanatic. I even had a Rambo knife as a kid. You know, with the, come with the sharpening about? stone and the compass. And the matches in it. All the, all the stuff and in the it. And yeah. <laughs> um, That movie, to me, was amazing as a kid. I loved it. And every time it come on, I wanted to watch it. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm, I still like to watch it this day. I try to get my kids to watch it. And it's like, no. You know. I don't know who this guy is driving around with no shirt on. on a motorcycle. <laughs> Put a shirt on. Yeah. Um, but they just not interested. You know, I don't know. If it's, I don't know what it is. But today it's like, I don't know what you all are watching, but to me it seems really stupid. And I wonder if my parents thought the same thing of the stuff that we, mm-hmm. we enjoyed watching yeah. as a kid. Like, that's just the stupidest stuff I've most, ever seen. Most of the stuff that I've done with my kids, they like it. Like, all the old school, like, Disney stuff. Like, I mean, like, like old school, like Robin Hood, oh, yeah. Sword and Stone. Sword and Stone. You know, again. Snow Black, White, even. Black and, Cauldron. Is that the one? Black Cauldron was one. I never watched that one growing up, though, so I didn't know that one. It's available. Never watched it. Um, but they like it. One well, of the other movie, stuff, they enjoy it. One of the movies I thought I would never like as a kid, and it ended up being one of my favorite. I remember seeing the commercial for uh, Willow being in in um, movie theaters, and I and I, I don't think I've even gone to movie theater this time. I never been to movie. I didn't go to movie theaters. I was older. Um, but I remember seeing, I said, who wants to see a movie about a little person running around? That just doesn't, you know. Is it magic? Like, what yeah. is he? It just made no sense to me. Like, how, how can this little man be a great sword fighter or yeah. whatever else? And it's I not really, Arnold or yeah. Rambo. Exactly. He's, this, this is the hero? This is the hero? Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm used to seeing Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, all that. And I never wanted to see it. And I remember back when my my grandparents had cable. I remember coming down one day and catching, like, in the middle of it. And I'm like, oh, what is this? Mm, this is awesome. Yeah. And then I see that. Like, this is, oh, this is Willow. And I almost didn't want to watch it. But I was already <laughs> too intrigued. It's like, you already got me. <laughs> so I ended, up, I ended up having to watch the whole thing. I freaking fell in love with it. Um, thought it was great. Uh, loved, loved the movie Willow. Um, I had never seen or heard about it. Never even heard about it. You, until, until you introduced me to yeah. it. That's good. I enjoy yeah. it. That's, that's one of my favorite. I, I, I got Fun that little one little adventure on, movie. Yeah, I got that one on Blu-ray, DVD, VHS. I, I bought them all on that one. Another movie that I am, I don't know, I guess infatuated with? and Infatuated? You really liked it. Um, weirdly enough, and I, I think you may have, may have been a, a testament to it, is uh, The 13th Warrior. Mm-hmm. And for some odd reason... Every time I see it at the store, I buy it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But at one time, I had like 13 copies at the house. Why? Because I thought, I don't know. I'd buy it go, oh, there, that's $5. 13 Warrior, $5. So I'd buy it. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, that's like, I think I have this already. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I know, I know. I, had, I gave a bunch away at one time, and I had a bunch of unopened. I probably have two or three at the house still. I, pro- I know I have probably easily, I can probably sh- uh, show you one day that I've got at least four or five in my little movie collection oh that I do have at the house um, in different spots. But love that movie. I don't know why. I just I thought that was a great movie. Um, didn't quite make a lot of sense in some things. <laughs> um, it, it reminds me of like if you were to play, if you were to play Dungeons and Dragons, I guess. And y'all are going to be a, 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 a pirates on, on a boat or something. Missing one of your legs. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you're all going to play on, on, on you know, your, your characters. And then you got one guy's like, oh, I'm a, a land person that, you know, <laughs> I want to join y'all. Like that, that would be the 13th warrior. Like you, you don't belong here. Right. <laughs> like, it's going to be hard to make this work with you, but we're going to, we're going to, like, it seemed a little forced in some We need things. a wizard, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. I don't really remember the movie. I don't watch it every year like you do, but. I do. I watch it. Um, uh, I watch a few movies every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But I, that's not one of them. I, I liked, I, I don't really don't remember it too much, to be honest. I should go and watch it. I think I used to have it. Probably but some of my you. movies, <laughs> I know where I can get some copies. Yeah, I probably gave you that copy. I had a, 
I think I had it. I had some movies that have disappeared over time. I guess from because I took my movie collection with me to college, right? And then brought it back, and so I got there's a, a little bit of yeah. limbo that I've lost. Some is missed. Yeah. Now, when it comes to movies, obviously, to me, there, there's there's three. I, I've talked about this numerous times. There's three main things you need. Very nice and simplistic. Yeah. For a movie. Yeah. Broad mm. strokes. Yeah. Yeah. So one is 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 a good storyline. Mm-hmm. Two is is good actors. And then three would be a good budget or good special effects, effects. Special effects. Yeah. And as long as I believe one of those exist, it's still a decent movie. I mean, more would be better. More would be better. But as long as one of those exist... I'd have to say at least two would have to exist. It's really few, hard to I, have... I can name a few movies, I believe, okay. that, yeah. that don't... They only have one of the three. Okay, so if we go to, um, and and I'm not saying I particularly like them, but they've they've done well. Uh, doing well is something completely different, though. Well, there could be movies that do well, but like, I mean, not very good. I don't know. Like you look, you look at Transformers. Not really great acting. I mean, you got some good actors, but not great acting. Yeah. And then not really a great storyline. But the special effects are really good. I mean, yeah. it's a Michael Bay movie. Mm-hmm. And then, so you, you've got those. I mean, they keep making sequels that are still making blockbusters. Is it a movie or is it just a like a CGI expo? That's really? pretty much. This what is, is what this is yeah. what computers can do yeah. now. Um, but then you go to on the other hand, like I, I prefer a great storyline more than anything. Mm-hmm. So like, I enjoyed, and I guess it had it had some good special effects. I guess. I enjoyed uh, *Season of the Witch* with Nicolas Cage. The acting, the acting was horrible. That was not the bees, right? That was not the bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. No, that was ah! uh, that was actually a remake of the *Wicker Man*. Oh, that was *Wicker Man*. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, but no, the *Season of the Witch* was. Uh, he was like a Knights Templar or something. I think I've seen that movie, but yeah. I probably got a copy or two. <laughs> You buy that one every time you see it too? No, I don't buy that one every time I see it. But I do watch it. It's not usually on like on Tubi or something for free. Mm-hmm. YouTube. Something yeah. along those lines. Yeah. Um So there's one that to me mostly has a good storyline. I think the storyline's good, but the the acting is horrible. And and the special effects are actually decent. But I'm trying to find one that's just got a good storyline and horrible special effects and horrible acting. I would probably go with um, there's a movie called, and I know you've seen it. It didn't have an ending. It should have been a part two, is why it didn't have an ending. Called the uh, the Midnight Chronicles. Um, I believe the storyline was good. I believe it had didn't have great actors, didn't have great special effects. Um, most storyline was good. There's a lot of holes in it. Um, this is this movie's very good. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't a very good movie. It didn't do well. Obviously, there's not a part two. Um, <laughs> That's what happens with a lot of bad movies. Exactly. Um, but then it does up, happen with some movie, bad movies. Yeah, it was set up for a part two. It just never, mm. never made a part two. Kind of like twenty eight weeks later. Twenty. They were going to do a third part, but yeah, twenty eight. I don't months, know if it did yeah. good or not, but yeah, because I 20. wanted to like that movie. I love the fest. My favorite zombie movie. Twenty eight days later. Is it true zombie or infectious? Is there a difference to you? All intents and purposes, the same thing. Exactly. It's something, you, something that has a virus. Essentially, it is a virus. Prefer, you prefer it fast moving zombies or slow moving? Oh, that's a tough one. I prefer slow moving zombies. I, mean, I feel like sometimes it's harder to justify it, but I, I think be, it's easy to. I think it's easy. forget the scale of like what like a hundred people coming at you at once would be like. Plus, like, you, Walking Dead, bullshit. Like, you know, you've you've shot guns before. Yeah. You're not going to be running and then just popping off headshots on the move, one-handed, you know. Right. Running through the streets. You know, your heart rate's up. You're terrified. You're surrounded by zombies, and you're just killing zombies like crazy. So, like, you're not going to do that. I couldn't do that. All right. Just Joe Blow, who found a revolver in a locker somewhere, is definitely not going to be able to do that. Right. So I think that um, the whole that whole part is too like 
the the slow zombies they get they become more threatening to you when like you realize that like sure you could probably get a lot of them but like like you gotta you gotta be on top of your game right so and not everybody's gonna do that I like the fast ones just for the fact it seems more plausible that the virus could spread yeah quicker yeah because they like like was it Z Nation is that what it was yeah no 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 Day Z Nation Day Z uh, World War Z World War Z yeah I mean just it was just a fat like which was sad which you're talking about not shooting slow was. zombies wow well, but we're talking about slow versus fast zombies is all I'm saying you're, you're looking at I, I'd much easier be able zombies. to shoot a slow moving zombie in the mm-hmm. head than one that's, that's running at me with a range mm-hmm. or even was it the was the remake where they're in the mall? The Dawn of the Dead? They yeah. were they were fast moving in there. Weren't they? Yeah. I think so. Because they broke in yeah, they had to run through the 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 mall to get yeah. away to the, the yeah, vehicles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which that movie was good up until leaving. That was Why would you leave? Yeah. Why would you leave? Yeah. It's like a stupid girl chasing the dog. Yeah. At that point, like I'd be like, sorry. You're <laughs> yeah, you're a grown up. Too. Yeah. Deal with your consequences, yeah. stupid. Yeah. Leaving the wheelchair. Well, she took the truck, though. So Leaving the wheelchair man in everything. the woods, yeah. The what? Leaving the wheelchair man in the woods. From our... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, from Texas. I was like, when did they do that in Dawn of the Dead? Um, yeah, exactly. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And when, and to me, when you do stupid shit like that in movies... It takes it ruins the stakes. Like okay. it's just like oh my god! Like it's something so incredibly stupid. Stay on the top floor. They're not getting on the top floor. Even if they, even if they broke in, you're on the top floor. Mm-hmm. Destroy the, the stairs. Way. Yeah. Destroy the stairs. Put a ramp up so they slide. To, like, Put the escalator. Board. Put the escalator. Go in reverse. <laughs> just constantly yeah. walking. They'll get tired eventually. Yeah. Um, now I never liked the you have to shoot them in the head part. Right. About zombies. Because then you're you're introducing supernatural to it, regardless. Yeah, because because if you, the reason that our arms move and our stuff does what it does is because blood pumps to things. Our brain tells it, but our heart is moving blood to it to for it to have you know like it's it's not just by sheer willpower I make my hand move. Right. You know, it's contracting of muscles and you know it doesn't make sense that just. You could destroy everything but the brain, and I could still move and come at you. There was a... I'm trying to think which one it was. That's why I like 28 Days Later Zombies too, because they were just... Basically, people's viruses. People, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Going back to The Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, season one, we'll go with. Um, how, long, how long would you have kept that uniform on? <laughs> um, I would have never put it on. Yeah, because he was in the hospital gown. Right, and then he went. He got busted in the head by right. Morgan. Went inside and everything, and then when they went and took a shower, that's when he put everything back on. So I would never have put it back on. So well, he went by his house. I'd have right. got like, I'd have been like, "Are you kidding me? I'm gonna get the most comfortable clothes that I own." Oh yeah, because that's what I'm gonna yeah, wear. Polyester in the sun. Yeah, well, yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, I will say uh, you're picking out the the most the most uncomfortable clothes. Yeah, because that's essentially what you get paid for to sit around and be uncomfortable yeah. for twelve hours. Agreed. Yeah, we we'll never have put that on. Never. Maybe wore the cowboy hat. Maybe wore the cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of function to that. <laughs> so if that was my thing, you know, if yeah. I like cowboy hats, which I don't, <laughs> I like straw hats that are ugly. <laughs> but again, function. The word function. great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I never put that uniform on. Not only because it's uncomfortable, but like that puts a big target on your back again. Just like in the real world now, yeah, you don't want to wear that. Or you know, you've seen it—the off-duty big gun on the hip with a big yeah. badge right beside it. Yeah, you stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. stupid. I, yeah, cognito. When I was, uh, I when just, I would go out. It's like just something you could completely conceal. Yeah, it's, 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 they said it in the yourself. academy as well. I'm not. I don't want to sound mean or or unheroic or cowardly or anything, but they always say even at the academy back then, the best thing you could be when you're off duty is a great witness. Yes. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Because hey, if you're if you're at the gas station, 
with your family and kids and someone's robbing a store. Last thing I want to do is A, put myself with, with bare minimum equipment out there and mm-hmm. B, involving my family and, and kids or whatever else in the car, you know. So be a great witness. This guy's driving this. This yep. is what he looked like. This is what he was wearing. Get out. Yeah. And then that is what I saw. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I guess if it come down to it, you know. If it, it comes down to it, yeah, it's yeah. a little different, but just like. Injecting you know, you see, yourself. You see a drunk at a gas station. You don't really yeah. go try to arrest them right. when you're off duty. Not that anybody would do that. Yeah. No, that's ever happened. Never happened. You know, there's the old, there's the old saying that said, um, and you know, I, I would say it's, I would say it's rare. I, I would say, I wouldn't say bad cops. I would say stupid decisions. A lot of stupid decisions. Overzealous. Everybody, everybody's human. Um, mm-hmm. Not only bad cops, but there, there are, there are obviously. Uh, YouTube is full of them. You, mm-hmm. you can find videos of, of mm-hmm. some, and some are just you get snippets of the story. Um, but there's the old saying that you know. Uh, a bad or cricket cop is actually a an undercover criminal. You know? <laughs> so. That's true. Yeah, that's what they become. <laughs> right. Become a criminal. Yeah. But yeah, this, going back to zombie things, like just how many seat? Like he kept that uniform on the whole. The oh, whole first season. Easily. The whole time. Yeah. I taken that he off. First and then what into the second? He was in the second one too. Really, the third was when he stopped. Right. Because I think that's when he stopped. He started doing the rictatorship. Oh, uh, yeah. You know? After he killed... Um, he changed jacket. Yeah. Killed change. He started growing his beard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Different look. But, yeah. No way. I, I would... Yeah. That, yeah, I agree. You ever think about that, too? You'd just be riding down the road? I'd be like, what would I do right now if... Zombies? Oh, yeah. Like, however... Okay. Like, you found out, like, oh, there's a big traffic jam... Me and my wife do that all the time. Coming back from the lake or somewhere, be on the interstate. Like, there's nothing out there. So what would you do with, like, zombies right now? Like, big, big, you know, traffic jam. And it's just, like, people running everywhere and zombies. What would you do? You ever think about that? Yeah. I don't, I just mean, something <laughs> kind of fun to think about, I guess. The, uh, the, the destruction buddy, of the world. I had a buddy who would always... Uh, when we were younger, he'd always he'd always give like the, the the most craziest hypotheticals, like what would you do if the world blew up? I'm like I'd be dead. Yeah, would I or the world caught die? Fire. I guess yeah. <laughs> the world caught fire. Like what what am I gonna do? Stop drop and roll? The world's on fire. You know, that's stupid. <laughs> he would do it all the time. What would you do? I was like, there's there's nothing I can do. Um, yeah, you know, if if there was a cure, then someone else would be doing it, not me. If there's mm-hmm. a way to prevent it. Yeah, somebody else would have figured it out beforehand. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you have one that you want to get? I, I kind of have one. Oh, go ahead. Go with yours. So, movie, like, changing gears completely. We're changing cars. Um, you could go back in time. Right. Like, pick a time. Like, way, like... Are we talking, like, America time? Or are we talking, like, biblical? I mean... Let's see. Let's go back to. Let's go back to uh, first con first 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 colony America time. Okay. Like about that back that time, not medieval, but like colonial America maybe time. Okay. Not like you know really sticks good. and stones, but like hard time still. I got you. Muskets and muskets and stuff. Cabins. And- yeah. Um. If you could bring back, if you take with you. Three items. Well, it wouldn't be a cell phone because there's no satellites. Yeah. And, and like, barring, like, it'd be, like, if I said, hey, meet me in McDonald's parking lot in about five minutes, bring three things, what'd you bring? So it has to be something, you can't be like, well, I'd like the schematics for, like, a, yeah, <laughs> like, a, an F-35 and how to smelt steel, you know, right. stuff that, like, you, like, you'd have in your house. I got you. Um... This is the one I told you that I thought about, yeah. talking about, but then, like, I haven't thought about it myself, so... Yeah, I got you. I have no idea so, either. I, I, when were matches invented? Because I'd want easy access to fire. I don't want to be rubbing two sticks together. Yeah, but then matches, though, you got to think about that. No, no, I'm, I'm, at, well, when, I'm trying to think when they were invented, because they were already invented. That matches have got to be, like, late, like, last hundred years, I bet. 
Think so? I think so. I mean, Chinese fireworks were around for a while. Is that matches, though? That's just like gunpowder, essentially. Well, how did... Fuses and stuff, that's different than matches. How did like... Huh? Well, that's... A, that, like, matches is just like a com... Like a compound that... that yeah. Like the red stuff, you know? Okay, so if matches weren't invented, I don't know when matches were invented. I would say probably a lighter. I don't want to be rubbing two sticks together. But then you run out. Eventually. By then, I'll, I'll, I'll hone that skill, mm-hmm. maybe. I'll have someone to teach it to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm transferring. I, I imagine I'm going back in time here. Are these, do I know I'm going back in time, or am I just grabbing three items out of the house? That's what I'm saying. Like, you're, you're like I said, hey, five minutes, maybe McDonald's parking lot. I'm going to get some shitty food, and then we'll be gone. Now open up a portal, and you'll go through it. Now you're going to go through completely naked. Oh, so I'm like Terminator. Like you're Terminator, yeah. Okay. But you get to take three things. Three things. That, like, you have access to. I mean, everybody takes their cell phone with them nowadays, but that's not going to work back then. It's going to be a camera, and then it's going to die, and you're, it's nothing. Got a charger. Hook it up to a water wheel. <laughs> like, is my car going with I know it's going to run out of gas eventually, too, but... You could take three items. I have to think, like, long run here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of. Like, not like quite... Because like, I don't know where I'm going. You know, I mean, you're going through naked. I mean, a parka might be... I'm changing clothes. I, wanna, I don't want to be... I'd be burned at the stake as a witch if I popped out in Salem as a naked man through a, through a, uh, through a light source. <laughs> he could make fire in the palm of his hands. That's the trick, right? Like, because in this t- in this yeah. frame, you take back something too crazy, they're going to be like, this mofo is yeah. a witch. Yeah. And you don't get to enjoy your lighter. No. I mean, someone else is going to be enjoying it. You'll get to enjoy fire for yeah. a little bit. Be a scientist somewhere tearing it apart. <laughs> yeah. Reverse um, engineer it. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a tough one. It's tough. Maybe, and I know, I know we're 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 lacking. Um, it'll eventually run out. Um, but I think everything you take will eventually run out. I'd probably bring a gun. A, you know, one that I'm not having to ram a, a steel ball down in the end of and in light. So a gun with some bullets. Maybe a gun and a box of bullets. So at least give me fifty rounds or whatever. You can get like a, uh, an ammo case of bullets, I guess. A case of bullets, sure. Yeah. I would allow that. Yeah, and then a gun. Is that separate, or is that a gun and a case of bullets one? I'd say that's two things. Okay, so there's two, and then um, yeah, I'd let you take a magazine. So magazine, yeah, gun, box of bullets, thousand thousand rounds. Yeah, so that that'd be one right there. Or two, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a that's a tough call for the. It's really one. tough. Because I mean, anything you take is going to eventually going to run out. We take a flashlight; that's going to run out. That's going to be done. Uh, you take a. I mean, I could take like a Domino's pizza or something. I mean, that'd be just enjoy it and just be like, <laughs> "This is what's I mean, coming." You could, <laughs> you could. You could find a baker and say, "Hey, listen." D- reconstruct this. Make this. Yes, make this from now on. So yeah. I know that I can come to the little town of Walnut Grove, and uh, which is, you know... Is that where they made pizza for the first time? No, that's from Little House on the Prairie. I don't know if that's a real oh. place. <laughs> just colonial times, I imagine. <laughs> 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 and uh, make, me a, make me a pizza when I come yeah, through here. Do this. Yeah. Yeah? Um, but see, you could almost just do that like an idea, like Oh, I could have that like idea in my head. Make some bread and let me show you what you can do with this bread. Yeah. <laughs> well, I need some fresh tomatoes here. Ground up. Ground up some potatoes, some tomatoes. Yeah. Um, getting back on food again. Um, yeah. Damn it. Again. Let's see. That's a, that's a tough I already one. have one. It really sucks. It's so lame. Okay. But I have to take my glasses. They have glasses back then, didn't they? Benjamin Franklin wore glasses? He wore bifocals. Was it bifocals or glasses? But bifocals were both of them. Did they have that back then? I don't know. I don't know what they had. I was pretty sure they had glasses back then. Not that they had monocles. The Monopoly oh. Man, when was he made? <laughs> <laughs> Could I always just have one? <laughs> no. That's awful. <laughs> I think I'd take my glasses. 
I don't think that they'd be as good as these. Maybe a pack of underwear. I don't think they had underwear back then, did they? When did when was Roman underwear? underwear. <laughs> when, was, when was underwear invented? I like a little. That's snugness. actually a really good point. Yeah, I might take a bat, like a yeah. like a thing of thing of boxers. Yeah, because I don't know if I could just be free balling around in oh, some wool, some wool pants. Itchy. Yeah. I imagine everything was wool back then. I don't. Maybe I don't know. I don't know when cotton come on the scene either. They had cotton back then because that was like a staple in the in the south. Plus they had they had clothes, so but they, they were wool. They had a way that they could make clothes. Most of that was wool, wasn't it? Raising sheep and getting maybe so. I mean, cotton was a thing though. Yeah. They invented they they made cotton. Imagine right? having a case of MREs going back then. Oh man, you almost want to take something. That like could be easily reverse engineered and be like, now yeah. look, you're welcome. The I brought, Doritos. I brought a yes. I brought a bountiful feast. <laughs> candy bar. Make them more. Oh, well, candy might be tough, but. Mm-hmm. I agree. I mean, it kind of reverts back to food a lot because I mean. God damn it. Yeah. Because I always pictured like, my boy. My boy always asks me like, "Do you wish you were born in Roman times?" Well, I know. I'd have been dead already. Well, I'd be dead because it's the time frame now. But if, we, if we're going back in time in, in looking at it, uh, A, I was premature born. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'd have been. Right off the bat, you just yeah. wouldn't have had a chance. Yeah, I wouldn't have a chance to begin with. Now, if, if you know, ex- stay all that other stuff, um, all my stuff in history, I don't, there's not a lot of peace. A lot of peace time in Rome. Always, you didn't really like, get to copper. pick, like. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I don't want to be in the army. Yeah, or I don't want to be a slave. I don't want to be a slave, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that, that sucks. I would not want to go. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea of it, because, you know, like, we do the medieval fight and like, like the SCA stuff, you, you kind of pick your time. It's fun to play frame. with it, though. Yeah. It's not fun to. Yeah. It's like I like doing the World War II stuff. I like I learned about yeah. it, but I definitely would not want to be storming the beaches of Normandy. That no. took a brave, brave. Yeah. Strew of men to yeah to, real real men yeah coming an onslaught of bullets coming at you and everything else I, yeah, I mean, you that's a yeah I would not want to know and especially being older now yeah because you know when you're younger you're a little more, a little more yeah naive. a little more adventurous adventurous yeah, I can, you know not brazen I, yeah that's gonna happen to me yeah yeah I think I've I've probably said that numerous times when I was younger um and I had bad results like oh that well that did happen to me you know um i remember i remember sledding um i remember hitting rocks and tearing up my sled and, and of course like it wasn't just the sled so your ass hurt too because i went over some sharp rocks and it just busted your <laughs> busted your sled apart and of course your ass going over sharp rocks as well or you know Ugh. it wasn't cut but it was definitely bruised it was, it was hard to sit down later um, and of course, sledding down here is not really a thing. No, I've never sledded in my life. So we had a uh, going back to a a, a trooper story. Um, this will this will be an interesting one for you. you probably never heard. Um, back when I was maybe maybe nineteen twenty. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, up north, sledding was a you know we just did it all the time. You. you Usually we bought a new sled every year. You go to the local drugstore. They had sleds in there for sale, about ten bucks. You know, seven to ten bucks. You know, this is a big long piece of plastic that you you sit in and go down hills. And I don't know, still kind of a kid at heart, I guess. Still young, still still wanting to do. I'd, I'd probably go sledding today, honestly. I can uh, see that. But I remember going out, and I, I I went a good distance from my house. I went to a couple of me and a couple of my buddies went sledding, and I remember coming back. I was going through a small town, and I got pulled over by a trooper. Uh, I don't know if I was speeding or weaving. I, I don't know what the deal was. Right. Why he pulled me over. I imagine just because it was it was like one in the morning. So oh. Probably why. Yeah. Pulled over. Yeah. You know, right. found, found a reason to stop me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember me getting out of the car because I couldn't, I couldn't, my, my wallet was, I was wearing three pairs of pants and my wallet <sighs> one of those. was in my first pair of pants. Yeah. <laughs> And not the third pair because it was it was cold. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he's like one of the ideas. So what? I, so it wasn't like three pairs of gym shorts. No, yeah, no, it was like three pairs. Like of it was like, cold. Yes. Um, so I remember telling him I had to get out to get um, my wallet. Mm-hmm. And he said, "Why?" I said, "Well, it's because it's." I said, "It's just hard for me to get sitting down." So I remember stepping out, 
and I'm trying to reach. And of course, my outer pants are falling down. And I'm like, hold up, like that. And I said, give me a second. I said, my, I'm losing my pants here. And of course, the trooper asked, like, why, why are you losing your pants? And I said, well, because they're unbuttoned and unzipped. Because yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't button them. <laughs> and of course, that led to something else. That yeah. was probably it. So he's like shining a light at me. I'm like, yeah, I got like three pairs of pants on. He's like, oh. So then he tells me to go sit in the passenger seat of his car. So I don't know if he's trying to smell my breath, see if I'm drunk, mm-hmm. or what's going on. But I remember opening up the, the trooper's door and just plopping down. Just plop, plop right into the passenger seat. And he, there he, goes, he goes, hold on, just let me move my... And I look, and the brim of his hat is sticking out from under my butt. Of course, he pulls it out, and he's got that, you know, that mounty hat. <laughs> and then you can just tell he's mad because he's like punching. He's like punching the hat to get it back in the shape. This is on fall. Yeah. I went on his head. Yeah, shit, I don't know. That's what my buddy said. He said, yeah, that's part of his uniform. He can't get, once again, yeah, we're, 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 another we're, one, yeah. we're going yeah. with laws that probably yeah. don't exist. That doesn't exist. Yeah. yeah, yeah he can't give you a ticket because he was out of uniform. uniform. Yeah. He doesn't have his hat on. Yeah. But uh, so he's there punching the hat, and then he, he just told me, he's like, listen, I thought you were drunk. But I don't <laughs> smell any alcohol. He's like, but just get out of my car. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. So I didn't. I didn't get a written warning. I didn't get. I didn't get a ticket. I didn't get nothing like that. He's, I just got in the car and drove off. But I, I crushed that man's hat. And I don't know. I don't know if he had to pay for it or what. But it, it was crushed. He's, he's he's just punching punching oh, a little thing back he out. Ruined it. Yeah. And of course, I had like three pairs of pants on, so I wasn't feeling anything. I was sitting on anyhow. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know I was sitting on a hat. You know, working your sense like? of touch. You don't really. You don't know you're sitting on a hat. You don't know you're what? drinking my drink. You don't know you're eating my cheeseburger. That's a sense of taste. Yeah. Touch. Yeah. Taste, touch. You almost say you have one sense. Yeah, but I had touch. I had three pairs of pants on. There's no way I was going to feel that. Three pairs know. of jeans? It's like putting two pairs of gloves on. You ever try to put a, a nut or bolt on something with a pair of gloves? Well, you just have so much, but I, I feel like if you sat on a, on something. Well, I knew I sat on something. I knew it was a hat. Oh. I couldn't see yeah, it. The dome light didn't come on. You know, he didn't that, want to get a ticket. Was that that's that? <laughs> it's that stealthiness. You've you've been there where, you 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 know, like I have the dome light come on, open the door. You know, try to be stealthy when you're on patrol. Yeah. Or, or the little red or blue light inside the car when you had yeah. to had to get the bulb cover to go mm-hmm. on it. Be which yeah, did illusion you ever, night vision. Did you ever do? Did you ever do red? The one the one in the last place. Yeah, they had red ones. Horrible to read a, to read a driver's license for the expiration date because it's written in red. And you just can't see it with the red light on. Yeah, yeah. Um, God awful to try to do that. I, I, I think I still always did them. The regular light. light. Yeah, I and then yeah, I just same here because I couldn't read the couldn't read the driver's See, I'm not going to be like secret squirreling in the dark anyway. Like I'm going to have a flashlight. Yeah. So like, just turn this on because if I need to see something, I'm just going to shine a light on it. You know. Yep. I don't need night vision eyes. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so uh, that was the uh, my sled story, squishing the hat, trooper's hat. And then, and that's what my buddy said. He could have gave you a ticket because he wasn't in uniform. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I don't think that's it. I think he was just mad at me and wanted me out of his car before I broke something else. Think of that mad. Think of the madness that that world would entail. You'd have people that like, ah, oh, pull me over for. Give me your hat. Give me your hat. Like, be reaching for the hat and slinging it. Ah, oh, you can't give me the, a ticket. Uh, and then you got to wonder what story he told. Like, <laughs> you, like, did he tell a story? I had a man sit on my hat and crush it. Yeah. The one time, it was probably something like the one time. Yeah, the one time. I don't I, put my hat on. Yeah, because I think I just pulled it. this kid over who was drinking. Yeah, told him to sit in my car so I could smell his breath, and he sat right on my hat. We used to have a uh, my buddy's house. I would go to all the time um, up north. We go there and we we play games all night. Uh, what was the uh, what's the military one that we play? The, Risk or um, no, Axis no. versus Allies? Yeah, we play that all the time. Other, other ones, and there was a uh, there was a little store down the way um, uh, now we they were convenience stores they didn't have gas so like a little bodega or something no we gas call those gas stations yeah, there's no gas stations I know, no gas we still there. call them gas stations just a convenience <laughs> and I think it was what it was called it was convenient uh, or Dairy Mart is that, are those up here or down here Dairy Mart I don't think so uh, but up there Dairy Marts and we would go to it and I remember there was a girl behind or lady behind the counter when I was much younger and I remember that um, had a lot of a lot of moles, like you know, just a lot more more than more than you would 
<laughs> more than the average. The average. <laughs> a lot more than the average. <laughs> a lot more than the average. But I remember going there, and that's where I'd always go. And in, at the Daymark, then you could get, which was great is when I was younger, you could get two packs of off-brand cookies, I guess. So it wasn't Oreos. It was like cookie creams. It was like, like uh, chocolate cookies. Yeah, and it, was, it wasn't it was Fig Newtons. It was just like Fig Bars, you know. Mm. So I would always get, I would always get, it's like two for a buck. I got a whole, like two packs of cookies for a dollar. Mm-hmm. And then I'd get my drink, my fountain drink or whatever. And that yeah. was always cheap back then. Um and then I'd go, we'd go play games all night, and I had two packs of cookies or whatever. But I remember I would go there constantly, and she was always working. And I remember my one buddy um, asked me, he's like, where are, you getting, where are you getting these cookies from? Like, you're always coming with these cheap-ass cookies, <laughs> you know? And I told him, I said, well, I stopped, they got them down at the little convenience store. And he's like, oh, Molina's. So I just assumed her name was Molina. But apparently he called her Molina because of the bowls. <laughs> So I remember going back in there and calling her that. I thought that was her name. You know, I never looked at the name tag. Just say, like, hey, Molina. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, my buddy's like, no, that's the name that we gave her. Yeah, don't call her that. Yeah. That's yeah. not a nice name. <laughs> not a real name. I just thought it was a real name. <laughs> I never called on to me, you know. God. Why would you feel like you need to call her by her name anyway? I was in there all the time. Why don't you just say, hey, how you doing? I was trying to be nice, like an Andy Griffith show. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I'm a regular. I know this lady's, I'm a regular. I know this lady's she name. She gives me free Fig Newtons <laughs> for a dollar. I know this lady's name. I'm a regular. I'm come in, start calling her by her name. That's not it. Molina. It's not you got to confirm that before. <laughs> well, why would you call somebody that? I, I guess, well, we know why. Well, yeah, but... But like, I never really thought about it. I, I didn't... I didn't focus on the moles. I mean, they were there. I focused on them more after I... After, after you I, caught her in front yeah. of her face. Well, I, called, I called her that. Then I, I discovered <laughs> that they called her that because of the moles. They're not very nice. Wasn't very nice. No. No, uh... Shameful. You don't have no of those horror stories? <laughs> Call somebody Molina? Nope. Nope. Well, I'm just talking about somebody else. No, typically, I mean, like, no. Like a nickname in school of like... Not really call a, anybody. Somebody missing a finger or something? You didn't... It was in a boring like small town. and a half or something? <laughs> nine. Yeah. No, we... We had teachers. No, even teachers we didn't like, we really didn't come up with names for. Oh, really? Not really. We had a teacher in school... We call him Mr. Jangalang uh, <laughs> because he's walked around. He wore slacks. And he walked around with change in his pocket, and he would just rattle that chain. <laughs> and it was so uh, he was sitting there trying to do math, and all you would hear is ching 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 ching. Like, oh, Mr. Jangalang. Jangalang's there. coming. You know, constantly. Like, who brings that much change? Why do you like, Why do you always have change in your pocket? Just gotta be ready. You have to do that stuff out. I mean, <laughs> you're walking around class, and you're you're annoying us all. Jingling some change. <laughs> So, I'm trying to think what his real name even was. Jangling. I don't know. It was, it was Molina. It was Molina. Molina Jangling. We just called him uh, Mr. Jangling. <laughs> I can't remember what his real name was. We had we had a um, we had a gym teacher named Mr. Fats. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, he's a thin guy. He was a thin guy. And then we had a metals teacher, our metal work teacher. Did you have metals works? Uh huh. We had, yeah, we had a metal works class. We had metal a shop class. Shop. And like, yeah, no shop. We had a metal workers class, and his name was Mr. Golf, and he was humongous. He was a big guy, mm. real big guy. Mm. Um, and I remember my buddy Paul in school one time called him Mr. Fats. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> and I heard it like I was like, you know, I kind of just like <laughs> the old side eye. Like, oh, what's going to happen with this? <laughs> I want to watch, but I don't want to be involved. <laughs> but Mr. Fat or Mr. Golf, <laughs> I, I got it messed up. Mr. Golf never said anything to him. He just carried on. <laughs> I was like, ooh. But Lucky that there was somebody named Mr. Fats. Yes. Oh, I thought I was in. But I mean, that's the reason why I made the mistake. Yeah. But yeah. He was a uh, Mr. Golf was a, a rather large man, mm. and someone had painted a picture like they they went to wood shop and did like a like they made a, a woods metal shop because they were right next to each other. And right in the entrance was a sign because you could walk from one to the other. Like there was no door. Yeah. There was a sign there that said Metals Woods, and they had a picture 
like they, they, they engraved a picture of Mr. Golf. And of course, he's sitting back in his easy chair and got the big gut and everything. I mean, he knew he was a big guy. Yeah. And like, you, you know you're fat when you're fat. I yeah. Mean, we've all been there. But, uh, yeah, they drew a picture of him up there being fat and everything else. And the, and the woodworker teacher <laughs> was... being fat. <laughs> That's what was depicted. <laughs> but Here we have a picture of Mr. Golf being fat. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. You know, I like to say, like, he always wore the same polo. Like, it's like a lime green polo. <laughs> Not to wash it that much. Yeah. So. Keep wearing it. Yeah, now, we, we, I, don't, I feel like I didn't get as many shenanigans. And I was a good kid. We Not like, were. God, <laughs> most of the time. Usually, usually what happens, so we had. So how many, so just. Don't. You're gonna just do give me a number. Just give me a number estimated how many different times did you and your friends or hmm, i don't know your psychotic brothers play games with each other that involved slinging some form of fire at each other just a number just a number <laughs> i don't have an just a number have an it's double digits number. isn't it it probably is it probably is <laughs> See? We never peed the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Should have called on for that. That I could have played in the fire all the time. <laughs> never works for the for them for the banjos. Yeah, but uh, yes, probably easily double digits. See, I would say. Not to say that y'all were bad kids, but like yeah. that's a that's a piece of the puzzle. <laughs> what's what's the puzzle? And not to say that since I didn't play with fire, that I wasn't. That just made me a good kid, but like. So we used. I had a little blight market racket going at one time. Uh, <laughs> with fire? No, well, kind of. Um, well, I would always go to Tennessee. My family was in Tennessee. And down there, fireworks were abundant. So mm-hmm. I would pick up bottle rockets and oh, yeah, everything yeah. else. And they were cheap. Like they were like, oh, like $2, $2 for a brick of, of bottle rockets. Mm-hmm. And I would bring them back and I would sell them for $10. Because <laughs> you couldn't get them. You couldn't get them in a Couldn't get them there, yeah. 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 And uh, I had kids lined <laughs> up, and I would I would save my money. I'd save my money for the fourth. And when we went to Tennessee, man, I was, I was stocking up. I was like, I'm, I can sell these all year long. You're, you're sitting across from me admitting to smuggling fireworks <laughs> yeah, into Ohio. I was a kid. <laughs> Statues of limitations were way out. <laughs> I was a juvenile at the time. My parents had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> oh, he just really likes fireworks. Yeah. I never see him using them. <laughs> So, yeah, my, well, my dad worked like two jobs, so he was never home. And then I don't know, my mom, she worked something. I like so. the uh, the remote control, or just like the superpower that your dad had. That when you and your brothers would do something, he would just know exactly oh, what exactly, happened. Exactly, exactly. With the with the remote and the chairs. <laughs> yes. Or if I know yes. the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we had the, yeah, tell it. We had the recliner, my dad's chair. The, uh, the easy boy or lazy boy, whatever it is. And I remember sitting in that and we were fighting over, over the remote <laughs> and my little brother grabbing it and, and yanking the back of it so I would hit the floor and roll out of it. Yeah. And he did it the once and it just, it ripped, it ripped the entire back of the chair off. I mean, it just, it just boom, hit the floor. And of course the rocker part's just still sitting there. It's still sitting there because I <laughs> sat like up a, from it's it. It's a stool now. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ottoman. <laughs> Um, it's a rocky Godman. <laughs> so, so yeah. So we had that, and then I remember my brother, my older brother, just like setting it, like setting it back on. Yeah, there. it's not gonna. Yeah, it's not, that's gonna, not gonna hold. And I remember my dad coming home, and none of us sitting in his chair. <laughs> and my dad, pretty much, and I kept telling him, "You better tell him. You better tell him what he's gonna do." He, he, it's the same it's routine. Make it worse. It's, it's, it's the same routine. He sits down. <laughs> takes his shoes off. He leans forward. Takes his shoes. It's the same routine. My dad, my dad was, you know, same routine. Takes his shoes off, grabs the handle, and leans back <laughs> as he's as he's pulling it to kick, to kick it, kick the feet out while he leans back. And I know, I know the whole back is going to fall. It's going to fall off, and he's going to roll on the floor. And I kept telling him, "You better tell him. You better tell him." And, and right off the bat, my was like, "Hey, uh, yeah, you might not want to lean back in that." And I remember my dad turning around. Touching the back and it just goes on the floor. And my dad goes, uh-huh. Y'all fighting over the remote, weren't you? I mean, just like, like I had a hidden camera in there. <laughs> <laughs> like he just knew. He knew exactly what it was. I don't know. But he, There's so many things you could have been fighting over. 
Yeah. So many other objects that light things on fire that y'all could have been fighting over. <laughs> could have been. We, we, used, we, used, we used to shoot bottle rockets. My dad would build houses, and we would shoot bottle rockets out of the PVC pipes that he had. Because it would make a great... So we did actually let some of the fireworks off. Made a great, <laughs> the way that they were intended, yeah. yeah. It made a great uh, a guider. So when you have them like war... Well, but like... They just have them like around the Yeah, he had a bunch of, he had a bunch of like, okay, yeah. building material at the house. Gotcha. So we take a piece of PVC pipe that was made for like water pipe. Yeah. A small one. Cause yeah. Because better, better aiming make a better rifle from it because we're shooting with each other shooting okay okay yeah you um, just said that you were using them the right way and then well, you know, well, you, they're better for <laughs> rifling you really aim those suckers yeah so we're shooting at each other um okay bottle rocket war and i remember if you ever let bottle rockets off they leave a, a burn slash soot behind i remember having those like just put them back in the stuff <laughs> dad will never know um I remember him getting him was like uh-huh Yep, I hear shooting bottle rockets through these. I mean, that was it's pretty obvious. That one's more obvious, yeah. yeah. But he knew what we were doing with it. You know, <laughs> you were running some pipe, and then and then like he would yell, like, "Why'd you just grab the same one? Because you'd be like eight or nine of them. <laughs> you know, you would grab a new a new rifle. It doesn't work as good when it's dirty, Dad. <laughs> dirty or burnt. Um, the rifling is yeah. compromised. So, oh, we're coming up on the hour and a half. Really? Yeah. It's wow. Like one twenty-seven. Well. Uh, word of advice? Don't shoot bottle rockets at each other. I guess that's what I, I was gonna. I'll, I'll double that down. I don't <laughs> wear glasses if you're going to. As kids, like don't, because I would be the one. That's why I didn't do that. Got hit in the eye. So I would be the one that. Eye. Yeah. I know because I found batteries one time. I was just like, why would you do this? You found you batteries. Stupid kids. You should put them in a remote. <laughs> we knew these were dead. These were on the side of the road. Uh, okay. I would just take them. I just what's in the batteries? I slam them on the ground. Oh, battery acid. Uh huh. Spiking them. A yeah, piece of battery. So. Right up in the eye. And I, you know, as a kid, you immediately go, "Oh God!" <laughs> <laughs> you like waddle back home, just go under the water hose. Like, please God, please God, please God. <laughs> I never battery acid again. in my eyes. Yeah, I never slam batteries again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. See, that's how I know that if I was involved in flicking bottle rockets, bottle rockets at each other. Yeah. I would be the one to catch it in the eye or the mouth or the ear, something stupid. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, would be I've me. been hit before. Uh, it hurts. And Mine would be like the grave injury, though. So. All right, I guess so we'll yeah, roll no this fire. out. So, yeah. Good time. Great. See you guys on the next Frustration Notebook. <laughs>